technology is forever progressing and generally leaves us in awe. Things work better and faster and are more innovative than ever before. The future of technology is exciting, but not only in the future. The technology we already have is exciting. There's a lot of technology still in development, but others are affecting our lives. We wanted to know how these emerging technologies affect our daily lives, so we went and found out. From that information, we made the following video. Enjoy! Let's look at how emerging technologies affect our daily life. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. The Internet of Things The Internet of Things, or IoT, is seen as a megatrend for the coming year of 2021 by Forbes magazine. What IoT technology is promising is a world where most, and eventually all, devices are linked to the Internet. These devices generate or collect information because they are synced together across the Internet. With the IoT, the limit stops with your imagination. There are so many possibilities, they are endless. For example, you can set up an algorithm that uses millions of inputs to trade stocks for you. The system follows important news, finds patterns, cross-references new CEOs of companies, and even looks at factors like the weather to determine how to trade your stock. It also uses all theory about stock trends and the shapes of stock graphs. Blockchain Technology You may have heard of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies by now. The currencies themselves are not what is changing the world, but the algorithm upon which they are based is what drives them, protects them, and grows them. This algorithm also opens up so many other possibilities. The technology was created by a person or people going by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. What makes the blockchain so special? It's so special because it is unalterable, so nobody can disrupt or change its functioning. That means that no centralized entity like a government can control it. Blockchain technology is completely decentralized. That protects it against Against corporate greed and will eventually make the fractional reserve banking system obsolete. How it works is that someone requests a transaction. The transaction is broadcast over a P2P network to computers known as nodes. The nodes validate the transaction and the user status using a known algorithm. Once the transaction is verified, the transaction is combined with other transactions to create a new block of data for the ledger. The block is then added to the chain and is then permanent and unalterable. The transaction is now complete. The downside is that criminal enterprise money is untouchable by the government. But on the other hand, the fractional reserve system cannot create money either, changing the whole system to be inflation free. Platforms like Trust Token are on the verge of linking these virtual currencies to real world services and goods, which will dramatically change the economic landscape. We can use it in many other ways, such as domain names that nobody can ever steal from you or censor, just like cryptocurrency blockchain domains represent a new class of asset that belong to the owner and not to a third party or central authority. The owner has a private key to their domain, so the domain will be entirely under their control. Blockchain is moving us into a decentralized world where we are less and less controllable. Quantum computing. The typical computer uses a system of ones and zeros known as the binary system to carry and process data. Compared to quantum computing, the binary system is terribly slow, even for the fastest gaming computers. Quantum computers will rely on quantum bits to carry information. It's all about the state these bits exist in. The science sounds like science fiction, but so does quantum mechanics anyway, but it still exists. Because of this weird state the bits exist in, they will make it much easier for computers to process data. The speed with which data is processed will make serious computer learning a reality, which will drastically speed up further technological development and problem solving. The technology is still in development, but companies like Google and Microsoft are investing billions in getting to quantum computing first. The Chinese are so close to the West and technological breakthroughs that it would not be surprising if they get there first, like with 5G. Once quantum computers are up and running, it may cause a dramatic and shocking paradigm shift in the world we know. CRISPR 
CRISPR CAS9 is an important designation for a massive shift in effective health management. CRISPR is an abbreviation for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. Basically, it's a gene splicing technology capable of finding and extracting mutated sections of DNA. Once the mutated sections are extracted, CRISPR can replace these mutated parts with non-mutated DNA. CRISPR, therefore, has the ability to completely remove certain diseases from bloodlines. CRISPR has thus far been used to eliminate cancer in some patients, and it could possibly soon remove blindness from people who are blind due to a genetic problem. This technology is on the verge of dramatically changing the healthcare system. The fact is, the technology will change the world. It will also mean, once you paid, you never pay again. The system can therefore not milk you. Augmented and Mixed Reality Imagine having a headset that replaces cell phones. That is what this technology promises, and Apple is already working on it. Something as simple as an HUD, or heads-up display, is simple augmented reality. Actual augmented reality will display information about what you are seeing, like the names of people hovering over their heads. Mixed reality is when you can interact with the objects being projected. A good example is Microsoft's HoloLens technology, which produces is a hologram of something. The practical applications are numerous. You can hold up your phone and look through the screen to see in what direction is the shop or address you're looking for. You can wear glasses that show you the details of everybody you can see walking around you. Imagine going to a party and already knowing everyone's names, even if they are strangers. With mixed reality, you could use it to project something physical and interact with it. If you are building something, you can project a hologram of what you're building, touch it, spin it around, add or take away parts on it, and so on. Imagine the training possibilities this will open up for professionals who work with their hands. In the military, you could now train soldiers to feel what it's like in a real battle, or have them interact with hologram civilians or defuse bombs. The police could use it to train future police officers in how to use their skills on hologram humanoids. Facial recognition software is already available on the search engine Yandex.com. Do a search for a face. Try it right now. Digitization of matter. Basically put, this is 3D printing. 3D printers have already printed houses and parts of bodies for the medical industry, like a boy in China who had part of his spine 3D printed. It's predicted that the first human liver will be printed by 2025. This technology would mean colonizers of Mars and the Moon would be able to print parts and items they would need instead of having to take so many spare parts with them. That would mean instead of having a load of heavy parts to fly, they could take a smaller load of printing material and even print a printing material maker on another planet one day. People are already printing many household items, and the technology is simply getting bigger and better. In the future, instead of ordering items online, customers will pay for the printing design and then simply print them at home. Projections indicate the first 3D printed car will soon be in production. Unfortunately, terrorists will be able to enter a country with no weapons and simply print weapons with which to sow mayhem. On the other hand, we will be able to print new jails for them. The future is limitless with 3D printing printing, unless you talk about things like diamonds, but maybe one day printing diamonds will also happen. Driverless Vehicles Imagine being able to step out of a building and, even though you do not own a car, a nearby driverless vehicle picks up a signal you send by means of your smartphone or watch. Within seconds, the vehicle stops next to you. You tell it where to go and it drives there along the fastest route possible, making detours as it is fed new information by devices linked to the internet such as other driverless cars to avoid traffic congestion. The car can travel quickly to your destination because there are much less cars on the road because driverless cars are part of the public transport system. There's also much less real estate being wasted on parking space because driverless cars drive and keep driving. They do this based on where the next customer is, or where its AI predicts the best chance of picking up customers will be. This technology will also do away with traffic lights and save millions. Flying cars and multi-rotor flying vehicle technology. Take driverless vehicles vehicles one step further, and imagine that, instead of driverless cars, we are already using driverless aircraft like the Volocopter self-piloting taxi almost operational in Dubai. Since the first quadcopter was invented, we have been introduced to one of the easiest and most stable flying platforms in the world. 
Quadcopters and those with more than four rotors have changed our world already. We can now take unprecedented video footage from the sky, make search and rescue easier, make policing and military reconnaissance a breeze, and of course, deliver stuff like Amazon packages or pizza. Airbus is working on the self-piloting single-seater Vahana, which is expected to have a flight range of about 50 miles. The Vahana is not just a potential air taxi, but also a delivery drone or emergency vehicle. The company has already started flight tests in Oregon. Once these aircraft are flying, more models from other companies will follow thick and fast. We expected cars to be flying by around 2010, but waiting another 10 years was actually worth it. Sit back and watch the world change even further. In this video, we did not even touch on technology to extract water from the air or from polluted sources or the production of artificial meat. Whichever way you look at it, the technologies we have around today are quickly changing the world. We are probably facing a major paradigm change soon. Until next time, go out and look for more interesting technology out there. We hope to see you back. Take care.